Let me ask you a question. Do you want to lead a personally fulfilling and spiritually significant life? I was asking myself the same question 15 years ago and found the answer in a very unexpected place. I realized that the number one tool that God had given me to be salt and light in the world was my vocational calling, my work. If you'd asked me 15 years ago what I did that was important to God, I would have told you my work as a lay leader in the church, my teaching at the old Sunday school, my work with nonprofit groups. I never would have connected what I did as a businessman to what is important in God's kingdom. I secretly envied pastors and missionaries where I felt like we're on the front line of what God was doing. Then I had to ask myself, what's wrong with this picture? Then I made an amazing discovery. I found five biblical principles that radically changed my understanding of the significance and importance of my work. Interestingly, these principles had been taught by the church for centuries, yet I'd never heard them. First, I found out that the gospel is about more than my personal salvation. It's about the restoration of all things. Second, God gave a job description to Adam in the Garden of Eden that applies to all Christians today. Third, I finally understood what Jesus meant when he said, the kingdom of God is at hand, and what that means to my work today. Fourth, I discovered the truth about God's work in the world that is particularly helpful for those of us who work with non-Christians or in secular environments. Fifth, I realized what the biblical meaning of success really looks like. The Bible teaches that the chief end of work is to glorify God, to serve the common good, and to further God's kingdom. This includes the arts and sciences, business and economics, education, the church, sports, entertainment, every part of culture. As my friend John Frame says, the gospel is not only a message for individuals telling them how to avoid God's wrath, it is also a message about a kingdom, a society, a new community, a new covenant, a new family, a new nation, a new way of life, and therefore a new culture. God calls us to build a city of God, a new Jerusalem. This is why our work matters to God and it should matter to us. Do you want to live a personally fulfilling and spiritually significant life? If the answer is yes, you need to rediscover the biblical doctrine of work.